Daniel Williams, an influential African-American heart surgeon. Born on January 18, 1856, and living until August 4, 1931, Daniel Hale Williams was an influential African-American surgeon. He established Provident Hospital in 1891, making it the first hospital in the United States that was free from segregation. Provident also provided an associated nursing school specifically for African-Americans. Williams is celebrated for performing the first successful heart surgery, and in 1913, he earned the distinct honor of being the sole African-American charter member to be elected to the American College of Surgeons. Daniel Hale Williams, born in 1856 and brought up in Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania, came from a diverse background. His father, Daniel Williams Jr., was the offspring of a Scots-Irish woman and a black barber, while his mother, Sarah Price, was of black American descent. Tracing back further, William's great-grandfather was recorded in the 1790 U.S. Census for Philadelphia City under the designation Other Free, a category that encompassed black Americans at that time, was the fifth child in his family. Growing up with one brother and five sisters, his family relocated to Annapolis, Maryland, but tragedy struck when he was nine as his father succumbed to tuberculosis. Faced with the challenges of raising a large family alone, William's mother sent some of her children to live with relatives. Williams himself was apprenticed to a shoemaker in Baltimore, Maryland, but he soon ran away to join his mother in Rockford, Illinois. Eventually, he moved to Edgerton, Wisconsin, where he stayed with his sister and even opened his own barber shop. After a subsequent move to nearby Janesville, Wisconsin, Williams was inspired by the work of a local physician, leading him to decide on a career in medicine. He started his career under the tutelage of Henry W. Palmer, serving as his apprentice for a span of two years. In the year 1880, Williams pursued his medical education at Chicago Medical College, which later became Northwestern University Medical School. His studies were financially supported by Mary Jane Richardson Jones, an influential activist and a leading figure in Chicago's African-American community. Upon completing his graduation from Northwestern in 1883, Williams established his private medical practice in Chicago, Illinois, upon graduating from what is now known as Northwestern University Medical School. Williams founded a private medical practice, treating both white and black patients. Despite this, black doctors at the time were prohibited from working in private hospitals across the United States. In response to these barriers, Williams took the groundbreaking step of founding Provident Hospital in Chicago in 1891. The hospital not only offered medical services, but also included a training residency for aspiring doctors and a nursing school, both established primarily to enhance healthcare accessibility for African-American residents. Provident Hospital was notable for integrating both staff and patients from its inception. On the date of July 10, 1893, in Provident Hospital, Chicago, Williams tackled a challenging surgical case involving a patient named James Cornish, who had suffered a knife wound that punctured his left fifth costal cartilage. Admitted on the previous night, Cornish's continuous bleeding, coughing, and marked signs of shock prompted Williams to operate the following morning in a medical environment devoid of modern aids like penicillin or blood transfusions. Williams successfully mended the torn pericardium, though the accomplishment remained unreported until 1897. A secondary procedure was needed to drain fluid, and roughly 50 days post-surgery, Cornish was discharged from the hospital. In the year 1893, under President Grover Cleveland's administration, Williams was named Surgeon-in-Chief of Freedman's Hospital in Washington, D.C., a position he retained until 1898. That same year, he tied the knot with Alice Johnson, a native of the city and graduate of Howard University. Before relocating back to Chicago, Williams' contributions extended beyond his work at Provident Hospital, where he had also founded a training school for African-American nurses. In 1897, his expertise was recognized with an appointment to the Illinois Department of Public Health, where he played a crucial role in elevating the standards of medical care and hospitals in the state. Williams held the position of Professor of Clinical Surgery at Mayhary Medical College in Nashville, Tennessee, and served as an attending surgeon at Cook County Hospital in Chicago. He was dedicated to increasing the number of hospitals that would admit African Americans. In a landmark move in 1895, he helped co-found the National Medical Association, 
specifically for African-American doctors, been, in 1913. He further distinguished himself by becoming a charter member of the American College of Surgeons, the sole African-American doctor to achieve this honor at the time. Williams died in relative obscurity of a stroke in Idle Wild, Michigan on August 4, 1931. He was funeralized at St. Anselm Catholic Church in Chicago, and there is debate about how well attended the service was.